so hello experience now we are going to go for the broken file management so experience this topic is very important for your uh, questions like they may ask you the incidence of broken file management or they may ask you what are the kits available to retrieve the broken file and also questions related to the prevalence and causes of broken file management so let's see so the separation rate of stainless steel is around 0.25 to 6 percent and for night eye rotary instrument it is around 1.3 to 10 percent so what are the common causes of instrument separation if the question comes which is the most common cause of instrument separation the first one will come inadequate access opening you have to remember this sequence for the causes of instrument separation so first one is inadequate access opening followed by absence of glide path overuse of the instrument excessive apical pressure during shaping large size or larger taper instrument in extremely thin and core canals operator inexperience poor quality manufacturing process and using the instrument with improper torque and speed you know the torque is very important whenever you place the rotary file in the canals the resistance the canal will give to the file that is torque so if you are placing the wrong torque for example if the file is there for a, let's say pro taper file it is telling you to give the torque of 1.5 newton per centimeter and you are giving 0 0.75 it is going to be wrong the file will have the improper function and it may can break then comes the recommendation given by Perhaus and measure to minimize the incidence of implement separation now I explain this 10 recommendation you have to remember because they may ask which of the following recommendation is incorrect or true so let's see them you have to create a glide path and patency with small file go for the straight line access round down technique you have to use the stiffer large or the stronger file like orify shaper for a coronal region then go for the light touch go for the touch and retraction action with a large increment never ever hurrying when you go for instrumentation whenever the file is used in narrow or curved canal it has to be replaced immediately you have to examine your file regularly try to see them under magnification and whenever you are going for the instrumentation try to flood the canal with sodium hypochlorite and avoid keeping the file in one spot for more than recommended time mainly in cow canals then you can see as print we have two type of uh, instrument fracture apical third and coronal third in apical third whenever there is a separation try to bypass the instrument and then go for the retrieval and in coronal third the retrieval can be easy so you can retrieve it then you can negotiate your full canal till the apex now how to manage we have two approach ortho grade and surgical approach so in ortho grade approach we have removed the fragment bypass the fragment and cleaning and filling the root canal to the level of fragment so this is a decision tree for your case based question so when there is an instrument fracture first can be bypassed yes then go for the continue canal preparation and obturation and not actively attempt removal if it is known you have to find where it is located middle or coronal third you can go for the attempt to remove it if it is apical third removal not practical without the risk of damage and whenever there is such an instrument separation is there there are few problems like root length curvature dentin thickness technique of removal length of fragment reasons or absence of periapical radiolucency or stage of canal preparation when this separation occur and the factor affecting prognosis are your periapical lesions stage of canal preparation weakened root perforation or procedural risk so try to remember this decision tree for your broken instrument retrieval so we have a three plans first you can go for using ultrasonic or wire loop and tube technique second bypass the instrument and make it a part of obturation and third is a surgical approach where you go for the hemi section or root resection in roots with apical third instrument separation the best treatment is your ultrasonic because it is the most conservative of all the available method then we have a few retreatment kit aspirin try to remember them this endo extractor mazarian kit extractor system irs that is instrument removal system then we have sir that is separated instrument retrieval system then mounds extractor let us see mazarian instrument so it is consists of 
14 hollow trephine bar. What is the size of those bar? 11 to 24. Very important question. Diameter ranging from 1.1 to 2.4 mm. Then we have uh, two extractors. What is the use of this trephine bar? They are used in counterclockwise fashion to prepare a groove around the coronal portion of the fragment. So you can see this is your mesodian kit, this is your trephine bar and these are your extractors. Let's see another system. That is your tensilier extractor kit. Then we have an instrument removal system consists of the micro tubing and a screw wedge. Then comes the endo rescue nowadays most commonly used uh, retrieval system. Then we have a metric 3 like your measuring kit only consists of refined bars and extractors. Then we have a post removal system also. These are very important image based question aspirant you have to remember each of them. Then comes the endo pulse system. Here the file will come which will move in vertical direction at the same time irrigation will be there. So because of that the agitation of the broken instrument occur and you can retry them easily. Now there are ultrasonic tips. These all are ultrasonic tips but names are different. This golden one are your zirconium nitride. This different color are your pro ultra titanium tips. This is your ET20 tip and this is your ET25 tip. Now very important question there is a medical legal consideration when such fracture occur. This is a stressful event if an instrument uh, get fractured or if you are unable to remove them. But it comes under legal things when you fail to inform to the patient or fail to document uh, such complication in the patient note. If the removal is deemed the most suitable option, again the patient need to be informed of the associated risk and an appropriate referral is made. In the event that you have failed to remove the broken things, periodic radiographic review is very important experience. Why? Because if some peripheral pathology occurs, you can go for the early interception. So experience that was all regarding the broken file, retrieval, uh, management, causes and all the different extractor system along with medical legal considerations.